How do you get your personality into Instagram as a DJ or music producer? How do you make content that shows off what you're about, that's also shareable and engaging? Today, I break down Ariel Free's content strategy on Instagram to show you what she's doing and how she's nailed her blueprint. Let's go. Last time we looked at faceless content on Instagram from the masked house music producers and DJs. Who? This week I thought I'd go completely in the other direction. What if you have a really big personality? What content should you be making and how can you really leverage Instagram? Well, who better to look at then? The Scottish Pocket Rocket house music DJ producer, Radio One's very own Ariel Free. Let's jump in. Step one, keeping it bright. They say you don't have to dance on Instagram to build a following. And that's true. The dance and lip sync videos you saw on TikTok and Reels that help people blow up, you don't need to do them as a DJ. I know so many th will think they're cringe. You're right. But if you are a DJ and you're playing music you love, then it's 100% okay to leverage and dance behind the decks, around the decks, on the decks, to the music you're playing. And if you're not camera shy and you have a bundle of energy, show that off. It makes you relatable as an artist and shows off that personality. You can see in this video and pictures how much fun she is and the content is fun and bright. So if you're a fun and bright content person, make your content fun and bright. Your social media should be an extension of your personality and essentially you. And it should reflect what kind of a person you are to your fans. Recording yourself being fun, stupid and silly are all entertaining pieces of content. And that's definitely one of the biggest ways to grow on any platform is sharing entertaining content. Entertainment is one of the big pillars when it comes to making content on any platform, not just Instagram, because it's content others will relate to and just enjoy from a selfish point of view. Maybe they like the same records or tracks and have danced around like Ariel have the same music. The other thing you'll notice from this content is a lot of it is just shot on her phone. It's raw, it's unedited, it's simple, and they're just put in as part of carousels like this one. And you can definitely, definitely do that at home. For those of you who are just starting out and having gigs, document the whole process. And it might sound like an absolute ball ache to be constantly filming and constantly keeping the flow going of content, but taking the time when you do have a gig will help you build more gigs. Number two, using all the features. We spoke about this in the past on previous videos of these, but make sure you're using all the features on Instagram and using them in the correct ways. She uses reels, carousels, single images, stories, and she's really effective and proficient at it. Her content is a daily and is a good mixture of all those features. She uses a good combination of multi-content, i.e. photos and videos in her carousels like this one. So when you're going through that carousel, you're getting a little video, then you're getting a photo, then you're getting a clip, and it's really, really pleasing on the eye, and it really tells the story of that event and that day, for instance. This is a really great reel of her dancing and creating an atmosphere with the crowd and singing along with the crowd. And this is a really great reel of her playing her own track in Croatia. The other thing she does really well is add extra depth in the caption and also sometimes in the comments as well as extras. Step number three, using social media to celebrate your wins. This clip of her celebrating her one of her idols, Annie Mack, playing her music is not only wholesome, but it's completely relatable. How many of you producers and DJs could do this every time you have a track played on the radio or YouTube by a bigger guest artist? Even your local BBC is introducing, you should share this as content. You could even use the green screen effect so it puts the thing in the background because green screen is getting pushed quite heavily by Instagram Reels at the moment. Three down, two more to go. And I want to ask you, who should I do next in this series? Who are you absolutely loving on social media? And it doesn't matter whether it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, X, Thread, whoever it is, let me know in the comments who I should do next in this series and I'm going to do them for you. Number four, using the collab feature. When you sign with a label, ask if you can collab on content. Collaboration posts are absolutely killer and they really, really extend the reach of that post because essentially what it's doing is it's pushing two, two channels and actually over the summer, Instagram have announced that they released that can actually do up to four channels now. So you can essentially can bring four channels reach into one post and it extends the reach of that post massively. It opens each of you up to each other's fan bases. It combines all the comments into one place and it just pushes it to the max. So if you're collaborating with somebody on a track, then do content together as a collaborator post. Or to collaborate with a channel, for instance, like Data Transmission or Techno Bible or 1001 Tracklist on posts to really, really push the reach of that post. This definitely isn't possible with some of the bigger labels because they'll have social media plans, but definitely, definitely ask about it. 
Step number five, profile picture. Not having a great profile picture is actually a bit of a bane in my life. When I'm trying to search for artists and search for people and you're like, is that them? Is that them? Is that them? And you're not quite sure. It's really, really difficult sometimes. And it makes, slows things down, and definitely in the process. Maybe you've done a track list and you want to tag them and you can't find them. So you, maybe you don't tag them. And imagine that someone doing it to you. They can't find you. So making your profile picture clear that it's you Fill the space and make it bold. Your face is absolutely beautiful, first and foremost. And finding you quick and easy in search can actually bring engagement and bring new followers to your page. Ariel's profile picture is clear and you get a real sense of who she is from that one picture. And for my DJ producer friends, flyers are not profile pictures. They look awful, you can't read them, and you can't read any information about it. It's completely pointless and it looks absolutely toffy. Who wants the Brucey bonus? Do you have a record label? Can you tell the story of it in reels? Can you sit and talk about why you set the label up and what the point of it is? In this clip, she tells us exactly about that in our brand new label that she's just released. She's talked about how she started the label, the stories behind it, and why she's done it. And this is very, very easy for you to reproduce. This would also work for your next release or gig. Although when it comes to gigs, you might want to drop the reel a few days before because the curve of reach kind of takes a little bit longer to hit its full potential. And that point might be after your gig, so people only find out about it afterwards. Do you suck at Instagram as a DJ and a producer and need help with understanding the platform first and foremost, and then what content to make to really leverage it. Then I want to tell you about my new course, Instagram Domination for DJs and Producers. It's going to help you as DJs and producers take your Instagram to the next level. It's packed with information on how to use Instagram, how to make content, what content to make. It gives you tasks and PDFs to download to really shape your strategy as if you had a social media manager. It's on sale now and the link is pinned in the comments and in the description. All you need to do is click on it and you can grab a copy right now and start improving your Instagram today. If you don't have a big personality like Ariel, then you want to check out last week's video where I looked at who their content strategy as faceless DJs and came up with ideas as faceless DJs to keep yourself off Instagram but your content's still killer. So you're still growing and still improving. Before you head over there, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping two videos a week now, and we also brought our demo feedback streams to YouTube every Monday and Wednesday from one till three. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get those notifications. I will see you over there in the next video. Cheerio.